Hello, can you hear me? Yes, say yes. Hello, hi. Okay. So, can I sound properly or no? Anyway, I'm gonna be playing more of this game. You see the game? You, you do see the game, right? You do see it, yeah? You see it, yeah? So, here we are on Vault 114. Where my Vault 114 suit? Okay. How's the volume? Everything's good? 60,000 subscribers. Crazy, huh? I don't even know what I'm doing. Oh, did someone leave my server? Let me see. Never mind. It's always a it's it's always a good uh it's always a good thing to check. Anyway, um, I'm playing this game. I'm learning it. This is my first playthrough. Mahogany baseball bat. How do I get out of here? Oh, here we go. Through the vault door. The coupler ignition. Cool. Alright. Vault 114. Oh, I installed some mods. That's probably why the game looks better now. I have installed graphical mods. Yeah, here we are. Still doesn't look great, but it's good. It's good enough. Um, was I inspired by the TV show? Yes, I, 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 I am currently doing that, watching it. Um, that is all. <laughs> And I'm excited for the uh, update that's coming in a couple days. Very excited to see what they do with that. Um, and people will be able to play this on the consoles, the new consoles, the PlayStation 5 and Xbox. You know, all of that jazz. I know you guys are excited. I mean, I mean not excited, but I know you guys, a lot of you guys play on console. Okay, let's do this. First playthrough. Still trying to be a good sneaky person. Go to Valentine's Detective Agency. Okay, is there something else that we can do uh, before we do anything? Listen to the caravan distress signal call. Okay, where do I do that? Where do, where do I do that? Where do I do that at? I'm still learning the controls. Oh, I have to do it from my inventory, okay. Caravan distress call. Um, um, this one? This one? I don't think this is the one. Oh. Someone's shooting me? Someone is shooting me. This guy's pretty uh, OP, isn't it? I'm not a fan of submachine guns, but I guess I'll, it'll do. Um, Night Aslan's Hall Tape. This one? No, I've already listened to this one. Oh my god, he's strong. Holy cow. 
Hello everyone, hello. Doors chained up on the other end. On the other end. Okay. Hi there. Raiders. I missed. I should probably heal. Yeah, I'm running low on stim packs. I should probably not do that. Can't open it from this end. I I totally can. Watch. See? <laughs> I play Skyrim. Short hunting rifle. Never mind, I don't like that. Oh, is this an alchemy lab? Oh, it's, it is. Oh, I'm going into the bar, apparently. You can use it with melee weapons too? You can use vats with melee weapons? That's cool. Don't forget to leave a like, everyone. We've reached 76,000 subscribers. Oh, he's legendary. Hold on. Oh, he's mutating. Shit, man. I was not prepared for that. Critical! Oh! We got him! Troubleshooter's metal right leg. Reduces damage from robots by 15%. He had a dinner plate in inside him. Hello, ultimate. I guess we're done here. Blamco brand mac and cheese or Blam CD. A black so cleaner. Can I drink the cleaner? Um what difficulty? Uh I never change a difficulty, so whatever the base difficulty is. I think it's just normal. Well, um so they said Which one was it? Oh, reduces damage from robots by 15%. Uh, yeah. Let's do it. So, how different is Fallout 76 from Fallout 4? Is it a big difference or is it the same thing? Because I know it's online, right? But is it like similar at least? Oh, a gun. Pipe bolt action sniper rifle. Um. Hi there. Leaded girded leather right arm. See, uh, how can I tell if it's better than me than what I got? Uh, 
Oh. It's not. Let it not lead it, dummy. This this increases my luck. Should I have my luck up? Doesn't luck increase your uh, your money that you find? Is that people heads? That's people's heads. Wow. It's somewhat different. You have to eat a lot. Like Fallout 4 multiplayer. Oh. Did I just find a Magnum? Sixty-seven damage shoots forty-four. I don't have a forty-four weapon. I don't have a forty-four weapon. Uh, iron forty-four ammo. It is a Magnum. Is it like Resident Evil Magnum? Like, is it as good as Resident Evil Magnums? Fragmentation Mine, Hardened Sniper Rifle. Hey, I think I have that, right? I leveled up, I should probably do that, yeah. What did I just grab? Oh, Hardened. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, I can sell it, right, for 91 value. Hello, Korean name. I don't know what, you, what your name is, but hello. Anyon Haseyo. All right. Forty-four. Okay, I'm gonna do the quest. I'm sorry. I always, I always do this. I always get so sucked into the, um, the side stuff. Does that happen to anyone else? Like you're, like you set out to do something, and then you get distracted. Boiled egg. Ah, I opened the shortcut. Okay. Very nice. Ooh. Blood blowtorch. Right po rat poison. Can I eat it? Enhanced targeting card. <laughs> Whew. Hello, I've always wanted to play this, but I don't know if I should start from part one or are they separate? I think they're separate. I think you can just play whatever. I don't think it... I don't think it matters. I think you can just play it in a different order, whatever order you want. Oh, rads. I forgot that cars are mini nukes in this game. What does it say? A Braxo cleaner. How do I remove my marker? Oh, level up. Okay. Yes. Let's do it. Oh, I should have done Mr. Sandman, but I think I need Sneak also. How do I... It says to find, listen to the caravan distress call. Listen to the caravan distress call. Where do I do that? Where is, where is it? Is it this one? Or is that my marker? No, that's my marker. Okay. Yeah, I think it's a recording item. I'm not too sure where, though. Do you see Caravan Distress Call anywhere?
I'm not too sure. I'll do a different quest. Go to Piper's office, recover the haptic drive. Okay, let's do that. Let's do the Brotherhood of Steel. Rocky Narrows. Oh, it's a radio. Oh, okay. I don't like those missions. Where you had to be next to a radio. Oh, Trinity Tower. Oh, it's oh, it's a tower that you can see. I probably should eat something. I'll eat Salisbury steak. Steak. <laughs> what happened to my accent? I want a perk that allows me to see enemies through the wall, like in Cyberpunk. Yeah. Are these rats? A naked mole rat. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Lock tight. I need. Oh shit! It's too rat radical. This place is radical. Why is this place so radical? I guess I need to come here with my power armor. I need a climb in this game. I keep saying it. I know, but I really do. Um, oh, New Vegas. Oh, yeah, I didn't... I was going to get those games on sale, but I completely forgot. I think I'll be fine, though, until next... Uh, sale. Is that a monkey? That's a bear. That's a rad bear. Yao Yao Guai. Oh shit! There it is, the haptic drive. Whew! What is this? Is that a bomb? What do I do with this? It's a bomb, isn't it? The monkey bum from COD Zombies. Ah! Oh shit! Is that I'll eat some cram? Five rats for eating cram. Jeez. Okay, I'll go back to the quest. To the Brotherhood. The Brotherhood of Steel. Yeah, I thought it was a bomb because of the the monkey bomb thing. Oh, hey, look, I guessed. Oh, yeah, this place looks different. Is that how the United States is? You you find mole rats and radiation? Oh, this is not good. Okay. 
still here? Dude, Dude shut up. Subscribe. You find that technology yet? I did. Here it is. Good. I was hoping you'd bring it back safely. Here, I'll always want more tech, so believe me, I'll never run short of missions. Let me know if you're anxious to get back out there. This is where this is where it tells you there's infinite missions. Affirmative. Great. You've got the area on your map. So move it. Okay. Hi. Get moving. That location isn't going to clear itself. Dance. <sighs> What I would Okay. Um let's do let's do the story. So I need to talk to Valentine. Let's go to Valentine. Diamond City Market. You can all fast travel from this location. God damn it. Anyway. There's lots of bears and wildlife. God. My new glasses, when I look down, I don't know, I have trouble reading. It's like a little bit blurring. I don't think they're perfectly calibrated, my new spectacles. But from afar, I can see very well. Okay. <sighs> Does this kid just live here? You're getting pretty chummy with that reporter, huh? Be careful there. The mayor's got it in for her. Who's the reporter? Oh, the, the woman. Diamond City Surplus! Open 24 hours! Where is... Valentine? Do all you outsiders wear such funny clothes? I'm more of an insider rather than an outsider, but yes. Are you here? Nick? Oh god, it's really you. <laughs> well, it's hard to mistake this mug for anyone else. <laughs> you keep laughing at death. Someday death's gonna laugh back. Not as long as I got a few friends to back me up. You saved Nick, this agency, and my job. Thank you. Um, you're welcome. Happy to do it. Yeah? Go diving into scary pre-war ruins all the time then, do you? Here. Kinda do, yes. I know an amount wasn't on the table when you went out to find him, but you deserve a reward. Plus a little something extra. You know, if you're looking for work... She gave me a, a fedora. A hat, Nick sure could use a new party. <laughs> she gave me a fedora. One case at a time, Ellie. Our new friend needs our help first. Alright, let's get down to business. Take a seat. So this is another Brotherhood of Steel type of place where they give you infinite quests. It looks like it. Nick. Let's go over your case. Take a seat. Oh, sure. When you're trying to find someone who's gone missing, the devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can, no matter how painful it might be. Um... Okay. Um... We were in a vault when it happened. Um, vault 111. It was some kind of cryo facility. You were on ice, huh? More importantly, you were underground, sealed up. It's a lot of obstacles to get through just to take one person. What else can you tell me? Um... We're looking for my baby, Sean. He's less than a year old. Was. Why would anyone take him? Good question. Why your family in particular? Why an infant? Someone would be taking on all of his care, and a baby needs a lot of it. Anything else you remember? My husband was... murdered. He was just trying to keep them from taking Sean, and they... they just... Just, it's okay. You don't need to say anything more. So, we're talking about a group of cold-hearted killers. But they waited until something went wrong to resort to violence. Now, that confirms it. Right. This isn't a random kidnapping. 
Whoever took your kid had an agenda. Hmm. There's a lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. Raiders, super mutants, the gunners. And of course there's the Institute. Oh, the Institute. Uh... So you think this Institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. Something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy to see why. Those early model synths of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Aren't you a synth? the newer models, good as human, that infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, or where they are. Not even me. And I'm a synth myself. A discarded prototype, anyway. Um... You're a prototype? You're a prototype? As far as I know. Never seen any other synth like myself. There's the older ones that are dumb as rocks and all metal. And there's the newer ones that are almost human. I'm somewhere in between. Um... Either way, I need to find Sean. You're right. The speculation is getting us off track. Let's focus on what you saw. What did these kidnappers look like? Um... One of them came right up to me. Bald head, scar across his left eye. Wait. It couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? Um... <laughs> Sarcastic. I might have. Everything was foggy. Hmm. It's way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but no one knows who his employer is. And he bought a house here in town, right? And he had a kid with him, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. The house <laughs> in the abandoned West Stands. He sure did. The boy with him was around 10 years old. Right. It's Sean. Um... Yeah, because they, they unfroze me to take him, and then they took him away. Um... It's Sean. It, it has to be... Somehow. Don't jump the gun on me. You said you were looking for an infant, remember? That's over nine years difference by my count. Look, maybe he has a son of his own. Maybe it's someone else's kid. Either way, they both vanished a while back. Let's you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last... Oh, there goes rest. the table. See if we can snoop out where he went. Security <laughs> doesn't really go to that part of town, but you two should still be careful. I always am. There goes the table. <laughs> <laughs> the desk just left the chat. I uh, didn't want Ellie to hear this, but I think you should know. Everything I dug up about Kellogg before his disappearance? Bad news. He's more than just a mercenary. He's a professional. Quick, oh, not clean, a professional. Thorough. Has no enemies, because they're all dead. Except you. But nine to one odds says he's our man. It's more than just you identifying his distinguishing features. The M.O. is all him as well. Leading a small team to kidnap a baby and leaving one of the parents alive for later? Not many mercs in the Commonwealth can pull that off. Is this where we need to be? Oh, I I have I have the key. I have the key to his house. Hey Valentine. Here we are. Keep an eye out, will you? See if I can get this open. Give me a sec. Um, I got it open. Let's take a look around. Kellogg <laughs> must have left something behind. So we're just gonna walk into this man's house. They seem small to you. Yeah. Figured a guy like Kellogg would think big. Right. It's got a hot plate. Uh, nothing here. Did you check out that desk? 
Uh, he's got a clipboard. I, I, yeah. I'm telling you, something's not right. Look for anything out of sorts. Oh, I see. A button. <laughs> well, that's one way to hide a room. Nuka Cola. Nuka Cherry. Oh my god, that's scary. Well, look at this. All of a Merc's favorite things. True. So. Nick. Why don't you search that table? Then we'll compare notes. Um, cigar box? Gwyneth's stout beer. 44 caliber bullets. Cigars. San Francisco Sunlights. Hmm, interesting brand. Won't lead us anywhere on its own, though. Um. I wonder if dog meat could pick up the scent. Say, that's not a bad idea. Some dogs out there in the Commonwealth can track a man for miles. Why don't you go fetch him and let him have a whiff? See if he picks up the trail. Uh, before you head out, uh, I know this is personal business. If you have to face Kellogg on your own, just say so. Oh. Goodbye, Nick. Um. Um. I don't know. I don't know, man. Making the. I don't know. I don't know. Literally, I don't know. <laughs> um. Waiting on you. I want you with me on this, Nick. All right. Well, let's get that bastard. This is your show from here on out, okay? You say jump, I'll say how high. Wait, if I... I just realized if I bring him with me, he dies, right? That's most likely the reason. I do have a quick save. That'll be my... That'll be my quick save. What's the plan? Oh, companion. Okay. Well, the I... detective's life isn't an easy one. How do I get dog meat? Barely lacks for excitement. Do I do I have to go back to uh, sanctuary or no red rocket? Yeah, get red rocket. I need to go to the red rocket and give dog meat to the cigar. Oh, never mind. He's just here. Dog meat. Get the scent, boy. Um Get Kellogg boy. Take me to that son of a bitch. Okay. Go boy, go. Is this dog enhanced? Or is it just smart? Oh, he, he's gone. He's just special. He's just a special boy. Hear someone. Who? What? Who's going to die? Is that a scam? I... Please help. She's hurt. Hurry. She's in here. Please help. Yeah, it's a scam. I could see the mile. It, it's a scam. That is 100% a scam. I will die here. They're luring me into- oh, I can't even go in. Okay. 
Oh, I can. Okay. He's right back here. Hurry. Yep, this is 100% a scam. You guys made a mistake. Oh! Now where do you wouldn't stay away, huh? Demo. His name is Demo. He's gone. Oh, I can make paint. Oh. Well, that didn't go well for them. Is, uh, it's a dungeon where they would just destroy people. Oh, don't tell me this leads into a vault, I swear. This isn't uh, radiated. The fence. So that's it, right? Oh no, there's more. Got it. Bottle cup mine. Mine that um that shoots bottle cups. Ooh, that's a good shotgun. Damn it. I need I need master. I need to be a master unlocker. Oh I see. Hardware town storage key. Oh. That's nice. Bottle cap, quick powerful pipe pistol, strengthened enameled metal right arm. There's so much looting. Okay. So I guess this allows me to open the uh, the the safe. No way I can pick this. Nope. Okay, I'll leave. Hope there's not. Oh, there's more here. Weapons workbench. Okay, that's it.
Why does this game? Why does this game have such long uh, loading screens? By the way, is there a reason, or is it because it just it's just an older game? I guess it's because it's an older game. Okay, where's um? I'm gonna eat a thing. What does this do? Poison resist to 50, damage resist 25. Oh, that might be a good thing to use. Where's the rad X? You see the last one we tried to pull in with all the someone there? End of the oh. That didn't go well for them, did it? Where's the dog? Oh, I see the dog. All right, dog, take me. Take me to, to my place. Search for clues for Kellogg. Okay. Hmm. Kellogg must have stopped here. Search around. See if we can pick up the trail. San Francisco sunlight. I'm telling you, that Kellogg's nose preferred is second brand, to none. Right. What do you think, boy? Enough to go on? Yeah. Go for it. Where are you taking me, boy? Oh. Um. Do we look for another cigar? Well, I'll take that. Hey, thank you. You watch my Silent Hill too? That's awesome. Not many people have watched that. It's like another one of Kellogg's pit stops. Keep your eyes open. Bloody bandages. Dog meat, pick up Dog meat can track this. Dog meat, smell the blood. What do you think, boy? Enough to go on? I'll need your nose to track Kellogg, boy. Go, boy. Come on, let's go. Probably shouldn't have brought Nick Valentine with me. Oh, hey. I don't want to eat that meat. I mean, it's dog. 
but it's yeah it gives probably gives radiation how can this dog track so far by the way what the hell this is a shotgun right yeah i think so Yeah, I'm watching the show too. Oh, in here? I'm convinced that this dog is enhanced superpowers. When it's stout, one of his creature comforts. You, Smell it. What do you think, boy? Enough to go on? We are literally like one kilometer, two kilometers away from town. Just so, just, just to keep that in mind. I don't know how this dog can do this. All that radiation. It's a ghoul. We'll be taking that. I love the thought of a of a ghoul with an oven mitt. I don't know. Sounds funny to me. A spatula. Yeah, this looks way better with the with mods, doesn't it? It's more vibrant. Oh, rads. Soltron? What have we here? Error. System corrupt. I can't feel my legs. How can you even feel anything? Um. This had to be Kellogg. Signature confirmed. Assailant Kellogg. Known associates. We're still on track. Hopefully, he's not much further. Okay. Dr. Forsythe's note. Forsythe? <laughs> um... Dr. Forsythe's note. 
list of needed supplies, stim packs, as many as you can get, antibiotics, working thermometer, if you can find one, test tubes, use the intercom to notify Officer Edwards when you arrive. Sincerely, Dr. Forsyth. <laughs> investigate Vault 81? Hell yeah. I love investigating the vaults. I'm carrying too much shit. Take me. Hello, hello. Oh, bloody rags. What do you it think, boy? Huh? Was this our man? Is he hurt? Um, what happened to my... Okay. Let's go! Oh, are we there? Maybe I should talk to the dog. We gotta stick together, pal. At least until we find Kellogg. Okay. Never mind. Do I, do I have to talk to him again? Kellogg's still out there. We've got to track him, boy. Is the dog broken? Hello? Really? God damn it. Oh, okay, the, te the teleporter. The, the dog just teleported. Won't underestimate us again. <coughs> Blood bugs. Blood bugs. Ugh, it's like a giant mosquito. The hunting, hunting rifle? 51, don't care. Take me. I don't like trailing missions. I mean, I've, I've been doing this for like, what, 20, 25 minutes? Port Hagen? Helgen? Skyrim? Oh, we found something. Is this the place? Huh? Is he in here, boy? I knew dog meat would sniff our man out. Let's you and I take it from here. Give our four-legged friend a break. Mind if we swap some things around, dog meat? Oh, it's got a stim pack. <laughs> All right, dog meat. Uh, I'll put a. Uh... <laughs> I'll put a um, military-grade circuit inside you. And the uh, muzzle hardened 10mm pistol. Uh, this one, 
Nuka Grenade, Nuka Quantum. Um, <laughs> preserve Instamash. Uh, Salisbury Steak, San Francisco Sunlights. There we go, okay. Alright, where is it? How do we get in? Oh, there's a turret. Very <laughs> zero item management. Oh my god. Instead of throwing stuff on the ground, you shoot it. it I mean, you throw it inside the dog. Got it. Find a way into bro hanging. Okay. Curious. Wait, did they see me already? Overactive sensors. Nothing more. Where's the last guy? I heard him. It would appear my target has disappeared. Exotic pistol? Eh, I don't like that. Is scoped excited automatic? Ah, eh, nah, don't care. There's so much stuff in this game. It's insane. Oh, can I get the civil protector? Me to take a look at that terminal, you just say the word. Mm. Oh, was that away with me? Sure, you do. Jeez. Damn it. Got it. It was shave? You're kidding me. Um, this interface should be used by Robco licensed technicians only. Improper tampering with protection units may lead to permanent injury. Status units charging inactive. Connected one unit connected to this terminal. Oh, okay. So yeah, so I can activate the uh, civil protector. 
Um... Protectron on duty. Valentine like that. Decisions you make and actions you perform can affect how much companion likes you. Please remain calm if you are injured. Thank you, Valentine. I mean, for liking me. Maxina, your relationship with a companion will unlock special perks. Oh. Oh. Hello. It would appear your attempt at stealth has failed. Kellogg will not be pleased. Anyone you walk away from. Now you're <laughs> Oh my god, my face. What the hell were they doing here? <gasps> Can Valentine die as my companion? Holy crap. Is he killing me? Why? I thought he was my friend. Did I damage him? Is that why? Legendary slow time. Oh, bomb! <laughs> One of my armor pieces has slow time when I am low on health. Here we go. Caverns. Purpose. Sweet. Third control. Deactivate. System diagnostics. One turret's linked. Okay. Security door control. Open door. Okay. <laughs> to defeat your enemies, know their weaknesses. Uh, I don't know what's better. What's good? I guess know the weaknesses, right? But I kind of like sneaking. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. I level up super fast anyway.
Dude. Let. Okay, maybe I shouldn't jump on the table. Well, ain't that a blast from the past? It sure is. See. Took some bright minds to build a place like this. How can an ammo box be locked? I didn't even know that it was possible. Yes. Dinner fork? What do you do with dinner forks? What was the door that I opened? I opened some kind of door. Floor. I came from here. Sweet. That's not very sweet. Can't open it from this end. P. Oh, is this the outside? Oh, damn it. I went the wrong way. <sighs> and now I have to wait 30 minutes for the last gen loading screens that I do not miss. Even though this game is installed on my M.2 SSD on my computer, it's still going to take forever to, re to load for some reason. Oh. This is like the parking lot. I guess this is the alternate entrance. Chemistry lab. Why am I all shiny? Am I wet? I think so. Very humid basement. Oh, it's raining. I see. Okay. Well, I'm going back in. I forgot that it rains indoors in Fallout 4. The the rain is so radioactive that goes through the through several layers of concrete. Oh my god! What the frick? It just lit me on fire! What the hell? I don't think we're alone. What's the plan? I just shot him to death. That's the plan. Shock baton? That sounds fun. So is this like... Oh, the, yeah, they totally Terminators. They totally look like Terminators. Okay, fine. I won't jump over obstacles. Yeah, if it isn't my old friend, the frozen TV dinner. Last time we met, you were cozying up to the peas and apple cobbler.
That's it. A missile. Pulse grenade. Yeah, I don't play uh, 76. I'm not. I, I'm not too sure if it's good or not. I decided to start with the latest game, you know, in the single player genre. Sorry, your house has been a wreck for 200 years, but I don't need a roommate. Leave. He doesn't need a roommate. Hello? Someone there. Never expected you to come knocking on my door. Gave you 50-50 odds of making it to Diamond City. After that, figured the Commonwealth would chew you up like jerky. Contact detected. Possibly hello. Someone's coming. What's that? Yes, we're not alone. Some folks never lose their fathers living in the basement. <laughs> nice. Caliber. chess piece I mean I'm prioritizing looks to be honest over anything oh so it doesn't protect me against rads right oh it's yeah it doesn't oh this looks stupid Um, can he die? Blast radius perk. Everything's nuke, uh, related. Nuke themed. Good Fort Nathan is under Institute authority. Terminating intruder. Fusion core right there. Directive received from Kellogg. Nuka Cola. Oh, Fort Hagen Armory password. That's gonna come in handy. So Nuka Cola survived because it was nuclear. Like, like they were actually drinking nukes. <laughs> nuclear energy. Boy, energy weapons bobblehead. Yes. Arrive at peaceful resolutions by using superior firepower. Permanently gain plus 25 critical damage with energy weapons. It's got a ray gun. By order of the Institute, you must be destroyed. Gone for good.
Nice. I have sustained a head wound. <gasps> Perception impaired. Asset Kellogg in danger. Yeah. Defending. Shutting down. I thought we were getting along. Are they weaker to energy weapons? I thought the um, organics were uh, more weak to fusion weapon. What? What? Nick. Nick. Come on. Don't be like that. Okay. got guts and determination. It's admirable. But you are in over your head in ways you can't possibly comprehend. It's not too late. Stop. Turn around and leave. You have that option. Password required. Got it. Shit. Got it. Yes. Ooh. Fat man. Huh. Mini nuke. F automatic laser pistol. I've got the fat man. It's, it's, it's 468 damage and it's a rocket launcher that launches mini nukes. <laughs> oh my God. Of course it exists. All right. Hello, Penner. Greetings, 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 greetings. What did I find? Uh, automatic laser pistol. Um, is that better? Oh, I think it's just an institute pistol, right? It's not better than what I got. Am I encumbered? Oh yeah, because I'm carrying the fat man. Collected an issue of the U.S. Cover, covert operations manual. Permanently more difficult to detect while sneaking. <gasps> this is a thing? Really? I've probably seen so many of these. And I've ignored them. Battles are won with fists. Wars with wits. Can we sleep on this double bed? Oh, come on. You're making me work for it. That's it.
Damn it. It was Unity. The turrets. Valentine liked that. Oh, he likes when I hack stuff, huh? Dude, take a sip. Come on. Take a sip. Do it. The bottle is vibrating on him. Hey. I'm all ears. Does he think he's the president or something? Call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking to Kellogg's. Talk? He's not attacking me. Hi. So, here we are. Funny, huh? Enough! Just... Where is my baby? <laughs> Lady, I'm just a puppet like you. My stage is a little bigger, that's all. Sean's a good kid. So maybe he's not quite a baby anymore, but he's doing great. Only, he's not here. He's with the people pulling the strings. Oh. Fuck you! Tell me! Where is she? Take me to him! <laughs> God damn it, you mercenary motherfucker! Where is my son? What's the cliche? So close. But yet so far away. That's Sean. But don't worry. You'll die knowing he's safe and happy. A bit older than you expected, but ah well. At least he's in a loving home. The Institute. So where is it, huh? This Institute? How do I get there? <laughs> Haven't you been paying attention? You don't find the Institute. The Institute finds you. You open the closet. It's just a closet. You can never find the monster that hides inside. Not until it jumps out at you. But I think we've been talking long enough. We both know how this has to end. 
So, you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Question is, are you? Boom. I'm dead. Never should have come here. Get up, dog meat. Is he invisible? Good job. All this Sap. tech. It won't be hurting anyone else. You were barely Take human. Around. Get all the intel this place can hide. I can be Negan. So he was a cybernetic person. Oh, hey, I look pretty good. Is he meant to go invisible? Or is that a bug? <laughs> Kalox pistol. Refills your action points on a critical hit. Holy. Yeah, let's put this on the old bar. Number five. It's a magnum. Oh, that's probably why. Think Kellogg was planning something big here? Maybe this is just where he'd hide to lick his wounds. That's a pretty modern computer. Access local login Kellogg notes the boy Sean successfully delivered back to the Institute payment received new orders to track down renegade gather reinforcements cleared out and secured Fort Hagen we move out soon so Kellogg wasn't giving us any bull you're <laughs> okay, sorry. So this thing shoots 44 Magnum, right? What else can I do here? Oh, talk to him. Hey, Valentine. We know where your son is, but even I don't know how to find the Institute. And they built me. Um, bullshit. You don't know anything, Nick? Look at me. I'm trash. They threw me in the junk pile ages ago. Just another discarded prototype. Didn't exactly leave me the house keys. <sighs> We're in the weeds here. Time to take a step back. Bring in some fresh eyes. Only person I know willing to snoop up the Institute's tail feathers is Piper, the reporter in Diamond City. Oh. I say we head her way. Talk this through. Sure. Um. Meet you there. I'll catch up later. All right. I'll see you in Diamond City. And don't worry. The night just got darker, but it can't last forever. So he's the hacker, right? So if I bring him with me, he'll uh, open up terminals for me. 
Is that is that what I gathered? He'll help me open up terminals, like hack stuff. Really? This is thought that this would be open. How do we get out of here? I am lost. Maybe I should have followed Nick. Yeah. So the so the elevator technically doesn't even go. No, never mind. Okay, it does go up. All right. So now I look like Kellogg. I look like Drago, not Dragovich. What's his name? The guy from Uncharted 2, the mad guy. What was his name? Le Lazarevich? Lazarevich? Something like that? I need to do this too. God damn it. We did it. Whoa. It's the thing from the show. People of the Commonwealth. Do not interfere. Our intentions are peaceful. We are the Brotherhood of Steel. Oh, I should have probably warn that. Oops. <laughs> What's military frequency? What are the frequencies? Is that good? Should I should I pursue those quests? The frequency quests or no? I don't even know where what I'm looking for. Like the little radio on the map? I guess. I mean, I gotta be honest, I prefer my jumpsuit. But this one offers 30 30. Damage resist 30. What's the, um. What's the little energy looking thing? The lightning bolt mean? Did I find the frequency? I think so. Brother, please. Ugh. Oh, that looks nice. People of the Commonwealth. Wait, so to take a screenshot, I just do this. There we go. That's a good screenshot for a thumbnail or something. Oh, this looks like a vault, doesn't it? Like it like it leads to a place like that. Oh, oh. Maybe it does. I I really like exploring the vaults. It says it's a shelter though. I don't know if it is that. Looks like it is. 
Got the glowing mushrooms from Skyrim. Classic. We're, we're gonna find Black Reach. Holy crap, I'm almost died. Oh my god. There we go. Oh wow. <laughs> I got it on the first try. Oh, please tell me this takes me to a vault. Fumigus blowtorch. Going down. Oh. What the hell is this? I turned the turrets off. This is beyond me. Damn it. It's beyond me. We're going deeper and deeper. I think I know where this is going. Cute. That's it. Don't really care. No, I grabbed an extinguisher. I don't need this anymore. Cybernetic pain inhibitor? That's probably valuable. Do I sell it or do I use it? That's like... That's like for you. Like, that's like augmentations for your character. I think. Right? That looks like it. I'm still too heavy. someone I hear something oh fusion something right isn't it yeah fusion core workbench. Maybe I can upgrade my weapons here. The fat man. Well, I really like the um, 
suppress powerful 10 millimeter pistol. Can I put a standard sight on it? Glow sights. I can. Does that actually make it better? Kellogg's pistol. Is this a submachine gun that I'm using? That looks like a Tommy gun to me. Oh, it's the combat rifle. I could put sights on it. Front sight ring. Glow sights. Nuclear material. So does this increase my damage? I guess so, right? Super power, super powerful weapon. Yeah, I guess I'll put some sights on it. Oh, you can modify it. Oh, dude, a recon scope? That would be awesome. Yeah, I have glow sights now. Oh my god. Another fat man. Oh. 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 Ah. Um. 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 Too danger close. Oh shit! Oh boy! Let me go! Jesus Christ. Excuse me. Excuse me. You've been melted, boy. Got him. Deathclaw down. 
Should I grab his stuff? Is, is the death glow stuff good? Wait, this is a baseball place? Is that why the synths are dressed up as baseball people? I don't even know if the death claw meat or hand is good. So I'll grab it anyway. There's a fat man there. Sweet. You can make omelets? An omelette is a... Oh, you mean like putting meat in the thing? I mean... The hell? You can cook it, I guess. What is this hatch? I mean, if this doesn't lead to a freaking vault, I'll be upset. That's it. That's the whole thing. We're back to the beginning. That's it. That's the whole area. It's just a death claw den. I guess in this thing. Well. I guess it did get a fusion core out of it. Institute sensors available. I will find I am no longer detecting an enemy presence. Where's this enemy presence? Hostile sensor reading detected. He's upstairs? Yeah, I have no idea. Here, this is how I would do it on Skyrim. Wait, I can't. This is how you check. And yes, this counts as cheating, but I want to demonstrate. Ah. In error. No enemy detected. I see. I'm pretty sure I've been here. Anyway. <laughs> Hi there. Chalk in the ice machine? What in the... Industrial size shortening? Shortening? Like, is that like a thing to... To create, like, electronics? Got it. Getting a lot of grenades and mines that I don't use. I got a safe key. Yes, I, I, <laughs> I Ostra projected, correct? That is exactly what happened. Enamel bucket, can I wear this on my head? I'm probably gonna become addicted to buff out because I use it a lot. Well, time to get out of here. Going up to the city and the sky. What do enemy. Hi there. 
uh, what do I use for my mods? I use the Nexus mod manager. Uh, sorry, I, I use the Nexus mods website. And I install with Vortex. That's not good. I need a bed. I need to sleep. I need to sleep right now. I need to just go back to my house and sleep. I wish all my problems would solve with just sleeping. Wow, look at this. Did I decipher the 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 radio? I don't think so. Okay, I'm just gonna go and sleep. Wow, I'm so far away from home. The cam resistant perk reduces the likelihood that you'll get addicted to cams. At the highest rank, it grants total immunity to addiction. I'll sleep for a good five hours. You wake up well rested. Oh my God. <sighs> okay. You know, I'll leave this stuff. Yeah, I don't think I need some machine gun pretty good. The cap slap? Okay, you, I'll, I'll explain to you why I cap slapped. See, this is a, a bottle cap for my bottle. So, my country of Italy has had the genius idea. I don't know if this happens over there too, but I doubt it because you guys don't do recycling. But to attach the caps to the bottle, so when you throw it into the plastic trash, it stays attached to the bottle. So it can be recycled together. But it's just a super annoying because you can't open the bottle properly because it's attached to the fucking, you know, the fucking bottle. And it's, it just, it's stupid. It's stupid. It doesn't say, it doesn't prevent people from just doing this. It just complicates life. I'm gonna leave the fat man behind. And the mines. I don't really use mines. And all of those grenades, because I don't use grenades. Uh, sniper rifle. Bottle cap mine. I don't really like that. Comfort revolver pistol. I don't really care about it. Compensated armor piercing. Uh, no, I don't care about it. Full side armor piercing pipe. Auto, auto. I don't know. I guess I can sell all this stuff instead of putting it away. Putting it away. Um, reduces robot damage. God damn it, I hate this game. Bottle fuel, yeah, I don't, oh, quest item. What do I use this for, cybernetic brain augmenter? Do I just sell it? Does anyone know? Oh, I can't even put it away. It's a quest item. Okay, never mind. That's all I need to know.
All of this junk, man. Um, is pre pre-war money is just uh used to sell, right? It's just for selling. That's it. But you also get cloth from it. It's considered junk. All of this stuff weighs a lot. Stealth boy. What's a stealth boy? Does that make me more stealthy? Low sided combat rifle, auto pistol. Okay, everything that isn't hearted, I'll sell. Sorry, inventory management is useful because it's important because of this stuff. Because it's. Because it's just. Um, otherwise, you just um, go around with a full inventory. Okay. Troubleshooter, combat armor piece. I mean, is Kellogg's outfit even better? It's 30 30. 30, like what? Uh, resistance? I don't even like it. To be honest, I prefer the jumpsuit. I like the gloves, though. Hello, greetings. Uh, fusion core. So fusion core is only used for the power armor, right? So I have 12. Does that mean I can just use it for a lot? Oh, I messed up. I, uh, um, um, uh oh, um, <laughs> um, um. God, Jesus. I am stuck. Can I save? Is there a save button? I'm trying to force save. How do I get unstuck? Quick, someone tell me what no clip is. TCL. I. I can't. I can't. <laughs> well, jeez, man. And I just did inventory management. God damn it! Can I quit? Oh yeah, I can quit. What? So this is. They've ruined me! Okay, fine, I'll do some inventory management again. This game, I swear. What the hell, mate? How come the nuke doesn't weigh anything? You would think it would weigh something. I need test tubes for that vault, so I'll carry it with me. I'll do the new, I'll do the I'll do the the vault thing right now because I am really interested in that. Why does the miscellaneous stuff weigh? Ugh. Quest items weigh weigh. One time I got stuck in the bed in Megaton and Fallout Three and had to use frag mines to push myself out. So, you're saying this is a thing that's been around for multiple games, and not just this one. Damn, son. <laughs> so they haven't fixed it, huh? Put the fact, man, are you out of the way? 
I'll sell the other uh, hardened sniper rifle because I'm not using it. The glow sighted, the, yeah, this this combat rifle is super amazing. Uh, pulse grenades, I guess. Uh, some machine gun. It shoots 45. What does my good pistol? It shoots 10 millimeter. Okay. What does some machine gun shoot? Okay, 45. So 109. Um, super combat shotgun. Oh. Suppressed. Okay, this is my good pistol. Okay. All right. Deathclaw meat. Uh, the power armor is a new problem because the old games you would just equip it from your inventory. Oh, uh, I mean that sounds a lot better to be honest. Um, yeah, put that away. I'm saving. I saved. So if I want to equip something, I need to stand behind it. Oh. Uh, I can modify the armor that I'm wearing. Bleed out syringe? Oh, for the syringer. Uh, can I just find a syringer or do I have to craft it? Oh my god. Okay, yeah, I definitely need... I definitely need to find a vendor to sell all the stuff to. Look at this, it's beautiful. Good background. Mods are great. Mods make this game look good. Because otherwise it would be washed out and boring. I wish I could carry my power armor everywhere, but I assume that's part of the uh, balance of not allowing you to do that. Wait, Wolfgang is still here? Well, yeah, I've listened to the radio, but I can't play copyrighted music on stream, unfortunately. I can rest easy knowing that Wolfgang is rotten in hell. He's not in hell, he's in your backyard, girl. <clears throat> I got a store to run here. You gonna buy? Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? Let's see what you have. It's all worth every cap I'm charging. Yeah, um, I'll get all your 10 millimeter. <laughs> Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? What does Mentat do? Mentats? Oh, okay, so from value, right? Short damage, right fire, act value. Well, YouTube is kind of my job, so I have to abide by the rules. They buff your intelligence? Uh, temporarily or permanently? Oh, okay. So does that mean I earn more XP if I eat one?
Oh, so it's like an XP egg. Got it. Bag of fertilizer? Um, I haven't been really using anything else. General Chow's Revenge. It does 50% more damage against robots. Never take a hit of Jet again, I swear. Okay. All right. Discuss your findings with Piper. Normal mantats do two and you can craft bear berry mantats that do five and highlight living things. You oh. see that big blimp? What's the Brotherhood of Steel? Why are they here? The shoot people lady? My dad says outside the shoot people. This better be an emergency. Hey Takahashi. Nani shimasu ka? I want to know how a robot learned. Dad says not to talk to strangers. Japanese. Well, hello. I'm not supposed to talk to people I don't know. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Dad says I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. Hello. Well, hello. Mickey Valentine walks into my office for a change. What can I say, Piper? You, me, and hard luck all seem to run together like acid rain down an old sewer. You, uh, including your client here in that analogy? So... You two are finally letting me in on this little case of yours. What's the story? Um... We need help, Piper. This man named Kellogg kidnapped my baby. But that wasn't all. He was working with the Institute. He... He gave them Sean. The Institute. Oh boy. I'm like I've level been 18. Investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> the Commonwealth's boogeyman, feared and hated by everyone. True enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night. He sounds like a Skyrim character. Sometimes they leave. Doesn't he sound like Shogarath? Is he? He's someone that I know. Or Belathor. No, he's Belathor. Yeah, he's Belathor. But I'm pretty, it could be the same guy that voices him. This day, there's one thing nobody really knows. Where the Institute actually is. Or how to get in. Exactly. But there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg. Huh. Um. Man like that would have had access. In and out. We both know that angle isn't going to work. He's dead. Um, because he's in hell. Other ideas? Or you can be sarcastic. I love that you can always be sarcastic. Almost always. <laughs> I mean, if I wasn't trying to get a good outcome out of everything, I would totally go with sarcastic response every time. The like, silent routine isn't getting us anywhere. Um, Any other ideas, Nick? Talk about a literal dead end, huh? So, a murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh. Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. Um... He wasn't gonna talk. Even if I had a way of bringing him alive. Gets his brains blown out. Huh. His brain. You know, we may not need the man at all. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Got a fault in the old subroutines? Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. The Memory Den. Live the den. past moments in your mind as clear as the day they happened. If anyone could get a dead brain... Brain dance. I can tell... Ramari. I can tell Ramari Cyberpunk took a lot of inspiration out of Fallout, right? Like, I'll, there's a lot of... 
parallels with Cyberpunk 2077. Like, it's almost like someone played this game and, and made it, you know, made Cyberpunk. Um, but yeah. Who's this Dr. Amari? I'll let her give you her life story in person. Let's stay focused. Hmm. I guess we're gonna need a piece of Kellogg's brain. Enough gray matter to bring to Amari and find out if this is going to work. Jesus, Nick. Gross. Seriously? I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? We got no leads. Nothing. That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. Hello, Natalia. Uh, what do we need? I already have something. Actually, I think I already have something. Kellogg had this... this thing attached to his head. Cybernetics, huh? Yeah, we cybernetics. We just won the lottery. Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can't all go running across the common world. Really? There's a there's a vault door? Who's coming with That's you? awesome. I have to go to the memory den either way if I'm going to introduce you to Omari. But if you want to head there together, just say so. Um I'll take Piper. I'll head out with Piper. We'll meet you there, Nick. Sounds good. You two stay out of trouble. Don't worry. <laughs> We're gonna get your boy back. Just a few more steps. And by the way, at some point, you owe me an interview. I want to hear how this whole story got started. Yeah, so you can tell everyone, bitch. I mean, <clears throat> cybernetics, huh? Oh, she prints out paper. I recognize this. I've seen this IRL. Who is this girl? Are you related to her? You look like her, but older. Hey, Nat. Selling papers is busy work. Lately. Oh, this is the girl. Okay. I love that girl. She's she's funny. Your Resident Evil guides are good. They help me a lot. Awesome. I'm so glad. That's Mini Piper. It looks like her. Yeah. It has one one on it, referencing the vault from Fallout 3. Big, loud, full of corrupt officials and brown nosy citizens, but it's home. I'm never taking this mask away, like off. This is part of my character. This is what I've decided for my character. You know what's funny? I installed a mod that makes my eyes look beautiful. But I wear, I always wear a mask. <laughs> I'm just a sucker for masks. What can I say? I love doing that. All right, where are we going? Dr. Amari, the good neighborhood, okay. That mask does bring all your eyes. Thank you. I mean, I think it gives it a lot of character. What the hell is that? Is that a Novistador? Holy crap, dude. That's a giant mosquito. Holy hell. That literally is a Novistador from Resident Evil 4. Robots tend to get more dangerous as they get more damage when they both... Okay. Silver Shroud radio signal found. Never played this game? Me neither. Why is he invisible? That did not go anywhere. 
Disappearing, yeah. huh? Hunter's 5 crank laser musket does 50% more damage against animals. Ew. Not animals. What the fuck is that? It's 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 a radiated rat. So do all cars explode in this game? So can I technically just shoot a car when when there's an enemy nearby and it'll explode? can actually get disease from bites and scratches. See, that's what I wanted with Resident Evil. It sounds super annoying though. Headshot. I decided to play Fallout because of the new show on Amazon Prime TV, so... Although I did try the game and back in the day when it first came out, and I didn't really uh, care too much for it. Piper? I don't want trouble, I'm just passing by. The good neighbor. Alright. Hold up there. 
First time in good neighbor? You can't go walking around without insurance. You better back off, or you're the one who's gonna need insurance. Whoa, whoa, hey, all right. We'll huh. just say your insurance is paid up for now, okay? Whoa, 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 time out. If someone steps through the gate the first time, they're a guest. You lay off that extortion crap. Good to see you again, Nick. Hancock? What do you care? She ain't one of us. No love for your mayor, Finn. I said let her go. You soft, Hancock. You keep letting outsiders walk all over us. One day, there'll be a new mayor. Come on, man. This is me we're talking about. Let me tell you something. Oh. Now, why'd you have to go and say that, huh? Breaking my heart over here. Now I know you had old Finn handled back there, but a mayor's got to make a point sometimes. You all right? Um. I'm fine. Thanks for taking care of him. Good. Now don't let this incident taint your view of our little community. <laughs> just... the neighbors of the people, for the people. You feel me? You just Everyone's stepped welcome. in. Of the people, for the people. Oh, brother. <laughs> I can tell I'm gonna like you already. Piper like that. This town, your home away from home. <laughs> so long as you remember who's in charge. <gasps> Piper liked me being sarcastic. Oh my god, yes. I knew you had a good sense of humor. Well, hello. Everything here is guaranteed to injure, maim, or kill at your discretion. Except me. I only kill when I want to. Um... Who... What are you? I'm a woman, baby. Can't you tell? Oh, of course you are. It's just all those metal plates. You're a robot, right? A very womanly robot. Was that a pickup line? <laughs> I've heard better. Now, are you buying anything? Let's see what you have. Let's get you outfitted, killer. Nice, Cleo. I will sell you Kellogg's outfit for $31. Hey, Cleo. Don't worry. I only test the weapons on customers I don't like. Feel free to browse. I've got a few. A gun. Uh huh. Uh huh. Huh. Ooh, barbed walking cane. Bloodborne is in this. Cryo cell. Oh, do we got to freeze people? <gasps> Dude. Cryogenic Devastator's chest piece. Reflect 10% of melee damage back on attacker. 26,880 bottle caps. Whew. So I assume there's going to be a quest line that's going to require me to fight. Just like in um, Cyberpunk with the twins. Electrifies Chinese officer sword. Okay, so this is the melee attack place. Focused boosted laser pistol. Holy crap. I want that. Focus incendiary laser rifle. Oh, okay. Uh, heavy combat rifle. Holy shit. Welp. Um, marksman's armor piercing automatic something. Marksman calibrated sniper rifle. Ho, 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 ho. You know, I might actually get that, but it only deals 51 damage per shot. Muzzle caliber double barrel shotgun, muzzle caliber hand piercing submachine gun, muzzle powerful 10 millimeter pistol, or the party starter does 50% more damage against humans. So it's a rocket, yeah. Pipe auto pistol. So this is like the next level of things. The plasma pistol. Plasma pistol. That sounds interesting, but I feel like I will find all these weapons later. Like this is just here to trick me into buying stuff. Shipment of Ballistic Fiber 25. What? Oh, Ballistic Fiber. Oh, so building. Wow, this, this robot sells everything. Yes, I have found the Fat Man. I, I own two Fat Man. I probably should sell one, to be honest. 
I kind of like the focus boosted laser pistol. Is this semi-automatic? Oh, it should sell. Uh, well, I think the best, I think the best weapon that I can get here is indeed the, um, the muzzled hardened piercing submachine gun. I'm basing purely off of the damage. Where is it? Puncturing Sledgehammer. Party starter. I think it's the um, either the Marksman Sniper Rifle or... Powerful Pipe Bolt Action. Snub Nose 44. Tactical Automatic Shotgun. Glow Sighted Heavy Combat Rifle. So this is semi-automatic, right? Heavy Combat Rifle. The MIRV upgrade or whatever is insane. So this shoots 45, which is good for me. I kind of want to buy it. I've got a weapon here for every situation. So what... Anything uh -huh. now. So what kinds of weapons do you have? Anything that can... Uh-huh. So what kinds of weapons? Anything. Now. Uh-huh. Sure. Let's take a look. Murder and me. You don't have to watch the whole thing. If you want to go to bed, you can go to bed. Um, short combo rifle. Which was them was it? Cargenic grenade. I like the thought of freezing weapons. Close side heavy. Okay, I kind of want to get that, but I feel like the best option here is the bo focus boosted laser pistol. Let's do it. I bought it. Don't look back. I don't like it. It's just it's just a synth pistol, mate. But it deals extra damage. 62, 42. Cleo. Every weapon you see here could be the difference. I'll take a look. Let's get you out. Laser musket. Yeah. Righteous Authority. I already have a pretty good, right? Yeah. Critical shots to double damage in the critical meter. Yeah. That was probably a bad idea then. I'll sell the submachine gun. I don't really care about it. Oh, well. We'll go with it. I'm, I'm sure I'll come back. This Brother is cool. Steel. Better stay out of good neighbor. All I'm saying. They're all ghouls. This game is uh, from 2015. So this is Ghoul City. Now I've seen a lot of crazy stuff in my time, but a flying ship, yeah, how's a... Your lady friend there. She's the dame who writes public occurrences, right? Good stuff. I always did appreciate good investigative journalism. But you're a criminal. The Hotel Rexford's got rooms for rent if you want something more comfortable than a bedroll on the floor. Why are you nice? You look bad. Whoever this Brotherhood of Steel is, I'm not buying that we come in peace malarkey. Privacy. This is a shit bucket? It's a shit bucket. Well, I have installed mods to make it look better. You've got a turd berry? Yeah. Huh? What's a turd berry? Yeah, I've installed a mod that uh, makes the colors more vibrant, but yeah. It's not that old, it's 2015. 
Just think about it for a second. 2015. That was Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Well, well. Overwatch this also came out a year later. I thought you had forgotten me. It's totally brain dance. May it's the same. Out of the den, Irma, but it's the same. Walk out on you. Hmm. Amari's downstairs, you big flirt. Here for Amari. She's downstairs. Irma. Whatever you and Nick are up to, I don't need to know. Just don't let the big metal softy hurt himself. All right? Okay, I'll try. It's so interesting Is seeing. Pod loaded up? Oh, you're not Irma. It's so interesting seeing the um, finding, like playing a game and then playing an older game that, and you can tell that they were inspired by it, by that old game, you know. Hey there. Good neighbors, crazy. Thefts, murders, worse. Sometimes you just got to escape a little to make it through the day. Okay. Escape. Escape? What do you mean? Reliving old memories. Like Thanksgiving, 2071. Mom made a 12-pound turkey. And then we all listened to the Silver Shroud versus Captain Cosmos. Even Pa was there. You ever listen to the Silver Shroud? That's what we need. No matter how bleak things got, he saved the day. Um... My family and I used to listen to every new episode. You mean when they first aired? How? The last broadcast was hundreds of years ago. Um... I was... in cryogenic storage for a long time. I only just woke up. Oh man, that's amazing! You're just like Mr. Abominable from episode 83! <laughs> Wasn't he a caveman? Yeah, that's the one. They found him in an iceberg off the harbor. Boy, if you just woke up. The world these days must take some getting used to. It seems like people are finally rebuilding and recovering from the nuclear war. Maybe in some parts, no. like Diamond City. Yeah. But over here, we oh. got a ways to go. Valentine and Piper like that. What if the Silver Shroud was real? With his black trench coat and gleaming silver submachine gun? I got a plan to bring him to life. So we can fight bad guys and give the rest of us a symbol of something better. Humor him? Um... Sure, Kent. You have a plan, all right. You really gotta rain on this guy's picnic. I know how it sounds. I've built my own custom machine gun. Even better than the one in the show. But to make this work, I still need the most important piece. The genuine Silver Shroud costume herself. And they actually got one here in Boston. They made it for the TV show. Will you help? I'll get the costume for you. You're gonna do this? For real? Before the bombs fell, they were filming the Silver Shroud pilot over at Hubris Comics. So that's where you'll find it. You're the best. I'll do it, dude. Dr. Amari? Yes. I take it this isn't a social call. Um... We need your help, Doctor. I need the memories from a man named Kellogg. Is, is it Anna Amari from Overwatch? I know it's asking for a miracle, Amari. But you've pulled off the impossible before. Are you too mad? Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse. You don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. Um, you're useless. Please. Nick told me you're the only one who could make this work. This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this, and so do we. Fine. I'll take a look. But no guarantees. 
Do you have it with you? Yes. Here you go. Here's what I could find. What's this? This isn't a brain. This is... Wait. That's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? Ah, those circuits look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. Oh, no. Um... Go on, Doctor. Mr. Valentine is an older generation synth. But Institute technology being what it is, the brain implant could fit him. But that's an incredible risk to take. We're talking about wiring something to his brain. Don't worry about me, Amari. I'm well past the warranty date anyway. Hey, I appreciate this, Nick. You can thank me when we've found your son. All right, let's do this. I like how a synth has more emotion than a lot of the humans that I've encountered. <laughs> if I start cackling like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? Let's see here. I need you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be dire. Are you feeling any different? There's a lot of flashes. Static. I, I, I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. Tell me you have a way past this, Doctor. Let me think. The encryption is too strong for a single mind. But what if we use two? We load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory loungers. Run your cognitive functions in parallel. He'll act as a host, while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. Um... Any idea of... What I'm going to see in there? I have no clue. But considering we only have a single piece of the medial temporal lobe and not the whole brain, I doubt it'll be cohesive. I'm surprised there's still doctors alive that know right. what they're doing. Let's get started. Just sit down over there and keep your fingers crossed. See you on the other side. Yeah, I'm going into brain dance mode. Or I guess into the net watch thing. I'm gonna net run. Initiating brainwave migration between the transplant and the host. Mnemonic activity coming from the transplant. It's degenerated, but it's there. We are going to load you into the strongest memories we can find. They might not be stable. Just hold on. Brain dance. Flashbang. Whew. And look at that. My eyes. Can you hear me? Ah, good. The simulation appears to be working, although the memories are quite fragmentary. I'll try to step you through the intact memories and hope we find one that gives us some clue to the Institute's location. There. This is the earliest intact memory I can find. This is crazy. It's you it's are him. experiencing these memories as Kellogg. This Mom may be disorienting at first. She wasn't soft, but uh, she loved me in, in her way. And she protected me from Dad. <laughs> that cost her more than a few beatings. I never knew what happened to her after I left. I didn't want to know. Not then. I was such a dummy back then. What did I know about how the world worked? I think now she wanted me to kill him. I should have. Instead, I ended up running away. I told myself I wanted to find somewhere out from under the thumb of the NCR and all their rules. But really, I was running from the guilt of not protecting her from Dad. Yeah, it doesn't matter now, though. All five stations now signed off. 
Dad was either drunk or not around. I guess he must have run with one of the raider gangs, but I never really knew what he did. Don't know why Mom was with him. Maybe at some point in his life he wasn't a complete asshole. Okay. This doesn't seem to be what we're looking for. There appears to be another intact memory close to you in temporal sequence. There. Try that. The thing one. about happiness is, is, you only know you had it when it's gone. Oh, you had a family. I mean, you, you may think to yourself that you're happy, but uh, you don't really believe it. Focus on that petty bullshit or next job or whatever. It's only looking back by comparison with what comes after that you really understand that's what happiness felt like. I was the worst thing that ever happened to her. If she'd never met me, she'd have stayed in the hub, maybe hooked up with someone who didn't kill people for a living. What's the hub? Probably been happier than she was with me. Almost certainly lived longer. Whatever made me think that a guy like me should have a daughter? No, I, I never deserved her. Not for one second. It's gonna be fine. You'll see. I thought San Francisco was my chance to start fresh. I was the hot shit. The gunslinger from the hub. Oh, that's what he drinks San Francisco. He smokes San Francisco cigars. Everybody knew I was the one who'd shot Valdez. Let's keep looking. I'll I connect could write my you own to the next ticket intact to any memory. outfit in town. It all worked out pretty damn well. For a while. Okay, this is all unnecessary backstory. How did you think this was gonna end, Kellogg? <laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us? And we wouldn't fuck with you. I found Just another so you know, to try. I'll they connect. died like dogs. And you weren't there to help them. So his family died. I, I think that's safe to assume. Mind if we sit down? Suit yourself. So, um, I hear you'll take care of people's problems. Is that right? If you pay me. Oh, we'll pay you. And uh, you'll do this all by yourself? That's right. We pay you when the job is done. Is that okay? That's the way you want to do it. So who do you want dead? Well, it's like this. There's his family. Lives down the creek a ways. Well, we seem to be getting closer. Try this next one. Okay. That didn't felt feel necessary. He was a mercenary. Mr. Kellogg, I'm glad you decided. I finally ended up in the Commonwealth. I kind of ran out of road. Plus, I'd come to terms with life. I wasn't going to be stupid enough to get mixed up with caring about other people again. It was just me against the world, and the world had it coming. The first synths weren't all that impressive. I'm good, but I'm not that good. But the Institute could always make more, and kept making them better each time. They still give me the creeps, but you have to get used to them if you want to work with the Institute. You heard all sorts of rumors about the Institute, but I figured 
They were just a convenient boogeyman for anything bad that ever happened. They were real, all right. They didn't know anything about operating on the surface. Relied on their synths for everything. They had the resources I needed. And I had the expertise they needed. Turned into a permanent arrangement. Which suited me just fine. So, you're with the Institute. I wanted to see for myself if you really existed. We do, as you can see. Getting warmer. One of these has got to tell us something. We are running out of brain here. Ah. Ah, there's one that looks mostly intact. Connecting now. <gasps> this is it. This is where. This is the beginning of the game. Suspended. This is when they oh, took Sean. Still working. That's good. Is, am I gonna be in here? Hopefully it's all. Just. I never knew why we didn't just refreeze the rest of them. But we had our orders. <laughs> I guess the old man didn't want so many loose ends. That's me. Too bad he left alive the one person he shouldn't have. Find him. Even then, I knew it was a mistake leaving her alive. I understood that kind of revenge. No one better. But I was cocky enough to assume I could handle some soft, pre-war vault dweller. Even if she somehow got thawed out. At least I know those Institute bastards will soon get what's coming to them, too. If she could take me out, they won't be able to hide from her for long. Pod C6. I'm glad I didn't have to kill the kid. I'm not saying I haven't done it, but, uh, I never like to. But it was better this way. Better than taking his kid and leaving him alive. Down the hall near the end. I never knew why we didn't just refreeze the rest of them. The eggheads never liked taking orders from a dirty, contaminated degenerate like me. The eggheads never liked it. I was now the Institute's main operator in the Commonwealth. If they needed something done, they came to me. It wasn't usual for anybody from the Institute to come along on a mission, so this one stood out. They didn't know then who it was we were grabbing from the vault. Of course. I found another intact Neither memory. did they. Whenever you're ready. Not really. Uh, yes, I've played Evil Within on my channel. You can just search Neon Slice Evil Within. This is the one. Here. Open it. Almost. Everything's going to be fine. Okay? Come here. No. Come here, baby. Wait. No. I've got it. Let the boy go. I'm only going to tell you once. I'm not giving you son. God damn it. Get the kid out of here and let's go. At least we still have the backup. Cryogenic sequence reinitialized. What's the holdup? I'm almost finished, Kellogg. I just need to confirm. Come on, come on, come on. All right, we're good. Something with cloning, probably. Something to do with cloning. This whole setup in Diamond City was part this of some elaborate plan of memory. the old man's. So, good news, I think. Seems obvious now that we were bait for our friend from the vault. Timing couldn't have been an accident. It's not how the old man works. I wonder if he outsmarted me in the end. Another loose end tied up. 
Sean, he has the same hair as me. It wasn't Red. my idea to settle down with the kid in the middle of Diamond City. <laughs> I thought it was a terrible idea, actually. But it was one of the old man's pet projects, so here we were. Me and the kid, like a happy little family. I ended up kind of liking it. A reminder of what my life might have been if things had turned out differently. But there's no going back. I knew it was just temporary. It'd be back to normal business before too long. Okay. Where else can I go? That's it. You're gonna get your head blown off just barging in here like that. He looks like a cyberpunk character. The new breed of synths could easily pass as human. Oh yeah, he's a replicant. Some of them did. Like, like Blade Runner. But the coursers, they weren't built to blend in. They were killing machines. Yeah, he's he's, he's a simple. smarter, stronger, and faster than almost any real human. I'm just glad they were always on my side. Is a Forget I said anything. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Left? As in? He's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Here's his file. The glowing sea. Some heads are gonna roll for this. Capture and return, or just elimination? Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? Damn. So, I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. You're taking me home to my father? Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. Okay. What about... What? Your, your mother. I'm your mother. Wasn't my idea to settle down with... X688. Ready to relay with Sean. Bye, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. What the fuck? Bye. Teleportation. Now it all makes sense. It's real? Nobody's found the entrance to the Institute because there is no entrance. Let me pull you out of there as soon as you're ready. Really? 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 It's all over. Well, they invented uh, teleportation in this future. I wonder how that's possible. Slow movements, okay? I don't know what kind of side effects the procedure might have had. No one's ever done this before. How do you feel? I'm okay, doctor. Thank you. That's good. But I want you to keep monitoring yourself. We have to be sure there's no long-term damage. Are you ready to talk about what happened in there? Um... Virgil. There's more than one person who knows about the Institute. Virgil, 
That scientist who escaped. I didn't know Institute scientists could defect. This changes everything. He could answer all sorts of questions. Where did the memory say he was? The glowing sea? That can't be right. No one would risk going there. Not even to hide. If we need to find Virgil, then I'm going after him. If you're going to go, be prepared. You'll need some way to combat the radiation there. It's called the glowing sea for a reason. I'll find a way to get through the reds. Don't worry. Good luck, and be safe. By the way, I unplugged Mr. Valentine first. Removed the implant while you were waking up. He's waiting for you upstairs. I played Evil Within 2 on my own time, and I didn't like it. I've only played Evil Within. Dr. Amari, be careful of the radiation. If you don't find something, it's because I didn't do it. Alright, talk to Nick. Let's see. Where is Nick? Mr. Nick? Nick. Hope you got what you were looking for inside my head. <laughs> that was right. I should have killed you when you were on ice. Uh. Kellogg. Is that you? What? What are you talking about? Um. You sounded like Kellogg just then. Did I? Huh. Mari said there might be some mnemonic impressions left over. Anyway, I feel fine, so let's get going. Or I could head back to Diamond City, since you've got company already. Oh. Let's get going, Nick. Been one heck of a ride so far. Let's see where it takes us next. You can send Piper to Red Rocker Truck Stop. Go, go, Piper. Yes. Piper's going to Red Rocker Truck Stop. Cool. So he's. <laughs> so he's gonna be like, um, like Johnny Silverhand every now and then. Pop has. Looks like Ellie needs to talk to us. We should head back to the office next chance we get. Oh, okay. Two people living in one one body type of thing. Well, it has been three hours. I'm gonna talk to Ellie now. Trying to kill us, but... I will I will talk to Ellie and see what she has to say so we can tie the loose ends here. Before we go. The Commonwealth never lacks now I know y'all are doing your own thing. But yeah. I don't want anyone here to forget what matters. Hey, Daisy. Glad you could make it. How's my favorite girl doing? Didn't I see you on a date with Murawski the other day? Huh. He wishes. Is that the mayor? The mayor is the ghoul? This isn't... Oh. Oh, what the frick? Hancock says newcomers are welcome in the third rail. You are Go dapper. Ahead. Hi. I toss out the troublemakers. You keep that in mind. You look, you look dapper. So, the ghouls just survived the the nuke and they're immortal. Is that what I'm getting from this? This looks nice. What? Another one of you mercs looking for McCready? He's in the back room. God, I love this song. History that needs erasing. Did you come in just for the beer and cigarettes? A broken down dream. Your time. Hell of a load you're carrying. Better sell some to Daisy before someone swipes it. You there. We need to have a conversation. Wow. Um, You've got my attention. I'm always looking for people who know how to handle themselves in dangerous situations. From what I hear, you may fit the bill. Um. I live for danger. Where do I <laughs> sign up? I like your enthusiasm. By the way, I'm Edward Deegan. You'll mostly be working for me, but you'll need to talk to my boss first. 
His name is Jack Cabot. He likes to personally interview everyone I hire. He's careful like that. Come down to Cabot House in Beacon Hill and ask to talk to Jack. I'll let him know you're coming. All right. Excuse me. Huh? Yeah. Don't have no handouts. You run in from something? Welcome home. Can't say I'm surprised to find you in a dump like this, McGreedy. I was wondering how long it would take your bloodhounds to track me down with. I've got hipsters in this? It's almost three months. Don't tell me you're getting rusty. Should we take this outside? It ain't like that. I'm just here to deliver a message. In case you forgot, I left the gunners for good. Yeah, I heard. But you're still taking jobs in the Commonwealth. That isn't going to work for us. I don't take orders from you. Not anymore. So why don't you take your girlfriend and walk out of here while you still can? What? Winlock, tell me we don't have to listen to this shit. Listen up, McCready. The only reason we haven't filled your body full of bullets is that we don't want a war with Good Neighbor. See, we respect other people's boundaries. We know how to play the game. It's something you never learned. Glad to have disappointed you. <laughs> you can play the tough guy all you want. But if we hear you're still operating inside gunner territory, all bets are off. You got that? You finished? Yeah. We're finished. Come on, Barnes. Look, lady. If you're preaching about the Atom or looking for a friend, you've got the wrong guy. If you need a hired gun, then maybe we can talk. Are you a hired gun? Maybe. Why don't you tell me who those guys were first? A couple of morons looking to climb the ladder of success by stepping on everyone else on the way up. Shouldn't be surprised, though. That's how it goes when you run with the Gunners. Never heard of the Gunners. Who are they? They're one of the biggest gangs in the Commonwealth. Got a rep for being crazy. You know, so tightly wound, you think they were a cult or something? Stuck with them for a while because the money was good, but it never fit in. That's why I made a clean break and started flying solo. Now what about you? How do I know I won't end up with a bullet in my back? Um... All I can give you is my word. And a bunch of caps. Bunch of caps, huh? Okay, hotshot. Price is 250 caps. Up front. There's no room for bargaining. Everything's negotiable. Would you take 200? You drive a hard bargain. Huh. You just bought yourself an extra gun. All right, boss. Let's get out of here. Oh, so he is. Hey. What do you want? Oh, rip, rip, Nick, Nick Valentine. Hey. Need something? Hey. What's up? What do you want? You can have a relationship with him? Your thoughts? Man, I could really use a cigarette. Um. So I spent 200 bucks to talk to him. <laughs> Nothing else I needed. All right. All right, I'm going to call it here. So, um it's been it's been nice. I've been ha I'm having a lot of fun playing this game. But uh yeah, so thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned. I will be playing other things as well. Uh excited to try Stellar Blade. I'm not too sure still if I'm going to be purchasing that. I did like the gameplay, but I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, I'm going to head out. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already, please, with notifications so you know when I upload, when I play other things, when I live stream. Leave a like if you haven't already. Stay tuned. Watch my videos if you want. And take care. Have a great weekend. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.